hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create cluster shape photo display using Photoshop first of all I'll be creating a document and settings the wide to 1200 and the height to 1200 as well I'll keep the background as white and the other settings the same then press ok so by setting the width and height to 1200 you can see that it creates a square canvas which is what I wanted the next step is to open the preferences menu by going to edit preferences and then guides grid and slices now I am going to change the grid line every to 2.5 and make sure it is set to percent and also ensure that subdivision is set at 1 if it's not already then press ok now from the view menu I am going to go to show and then grid so this then applies a grid on the canvas I'll need this for guideline I'll need to create a new layer now so to do this on the bottom right hand corner there is an icon that allows you to create new layers easily as you can see a new layer has been created called layer 1 ensuring that I am on layer 1 I am now going to select the rectangular marquee tool I'll now draw a square on the canvas by leaving two little squares on the grid from the left right top and bottom so I end up with an equally proportionate shape after I have my shape I'm going to fill it with the color black and to do this I'll select the paint bucket tool and then make sure that the foreground color is black in this case foreground color is already black so I don't need to change this to fill the shape you just click inside the square and there you go it's colored black now to deselect the shape I can do this by a select deselect or by pressing ctrl and d on my keyboard now selecting the rectangular marquee tool again i'm going to leave 10 squares from the left and the top making sure that i am counting the black grid that i drew before i'll draw my shape vertically using the tool right to the bottom of the black grid i'm going to draw another vertical rectangle but this time I'm leaving 10 squares from the bottom right like so making sure I'm holding down the shift key so the previous shape does not get deselected or disappear now I am going to draw horizontal rectangles from the top left and bottom right also remembering to hold down the shift key which connects the lines and creates an oddly satisfying shape however I'm going to delete it Windows users can do this by just simply pressing the backspace key on the keyboard and then I'll deselect by going to select deselect I'll now get rid of the grid that is on the canvas by going to view show and then antique grid which makes it look much nicer I'll now add drop shadow effect so it creates an edge to the cluster shapes to do this I'll click on the add a layer style icon then select drop shadow here I'm going to change the distance to 12 and uh, size to 12 then opposite to 60% then press ok next I'm going to select an image of my choice by going to file place and then browse for a picture then double click on it to use the image can now be resized to however you like I'm going to cover the entire black shape that I created click on the confirmation mark when you done for the final stage I'm going to go to the layer menu down to the create clipping mask or on the keyboard it will be alt ctrl and G instantly you can see that the grid has been created and the image is incorporated which looks great of course now the image can be saved by going to file save as choose the correct location and change the format to jpeg then click save 
which will be followed by the jpeg option which i am changing to maximum for the quality and then press ok that's it for the tutorial i hope you have learned something new today if you have found this tutorial helpful in any way please don't forget to like subscribe comment share and leave any suggestions you have for me in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and see you soon